You're not my man. You're not my man. You're a genius. You're a genius. <laughs> yeah, you're a genius. Yeah, all right. I don't know what. This is episode 90 fucking one. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, I'm out here. I'm going to put myself in the middle, though, of this little screen here so it looks symmetrical. Oh, look at that. We're out here. We're all even boxes. Here we go. We got Walco and my man Frank Bosa in the building, whose project drops on Wednesday. Yep, yep. Wild out here. Wild. Buckle up. Ready for it. <laughs> if, 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 if that whole, I'm expecting because not only because he hyped it up, but I've seen his progress. I see him rapping. I'm expecting at minimum a seven. All right. Well, I don't know what Brown Boy is going to say about it. He's a hater. So <laughs> Facts. Facts. He's a hater. <laughs> Even though his review of the one that he did wrong was fairly similar to Mark's, I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark's also a hater. Max. He's well, a hater. He don't like me, bro. Wherever, wherever he's hard. been. <laughs> I haven't had contact with him in a minute, but there's that. Right. I haven't heard from him in a minute either. Yeah, he's out here. He has, I don't even see his little circle pop up on our chat anymore. No, nah, he's, not, he's huh. not with it. You'll be all right. But um, so we started off the week, you know, true to true to fashion. We had a nice red stamp. This was first and third by Marlo. Used to be Lil Marlo. I think he's um Rad. Gucci. He's... Uh, not is he Gucci? I think one of Gucci man's like proteges or some shit. This shit is whack as fuck. Hey, shit garbo. <laughs> this shit is whack, and he has every feature ever on it, and it was just garbage, bro. And it was just garbage over like <laughs> a bunch of like fucking splice piano loops, just light piano loops all day, and just the most bullshit fucking singy rap and yep. drooling, like him just skipping vowels, just, <laughs> like making it sounded, weird noises. It sounded like caveman music. <laughs> Facts. Like primal, primal raps. Oh yeah, like like, like homeboy from the Wild Thornberrys. Way. It's just terrible, bro. Like, it's just no, there's no, like, nothing made sense, bro. And the features came on here. They collected a check. They didn't do shit. And they were, like, it was just bad, bro. Very boring, very corny, very singy rap, whiny bullshit. We're tired of it, bro. I'm sick of it. Yep. How, like, how is this dude famous? Like, (laughs) it's like, yeah, like, shit shit is whack, bro. So, um, everybody's, everybody's on pills now. So they they think this, and we thought they would have learned. Not nah, aimless, oh. yeah. Hell no. They're just like, I'm not weak like those people that are dying. So I'm going to keep <laughs> I'm going to do more pills. It's yeah. to the point where I don't even think they're doing it. They're all just getting placeboed and just, it's like fake high. Like those <laughs> annoying ass people that pretend they're high that we hate being around is like them making music. Shit is trash. I'm so tore up right now, man. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, man. I'm, I can see dragons and pandas. It's like, nigga, that's weed. You just did weed. <laughs> fucking hate people like that yo back in the day i used to be like because i used to fuck with psychedelics and like people like that used to enrage me i had like anger issues they used to enrage me like i'd want to kill bro like but anyways next project you can tell when they're lying yeah Yeah. shit is corny bro it's like when you give kids like (laughs) you give kids like a fake drink like oh it's got booze in it and they're like oh Oh, oh, i'm so drunk they fall over shit yeah corny as hell even though that did when i was young first thing i ever got drunk off was uh incredible hulk my uncle was like oh yeah drink this shit and i was like man i've drank before and i was like muscling in this gross <laughs> gross drink down and i almost died. i was like trash trash almost incredible hulk is gas what do you mean drink gross when i was young well when you first drink that's your first drink that shit's nasty as hell uh, I mean, yes hennessy and hypnotic bleh. nowadays i'm like <laughs> Yeah, it's like yeah, ice cream truck. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, oh, where are you drinking, yeah. drinking? Yo, that's been a little side, a little, little tangent. That's been the wave for this coronavirus shit. So me and the boys just been linking up on Xbox, playing Uno, and having like dr- and just drinking and like playing games and shit. It's been a good, it's probably some of the most fun I've had in a minute. It's getting a little wild. And my like weird fucking organic vegan ass, I was like, I ain't got no more booze. I had like sake. I'm over here drinking peach sake and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you could, hey, I was turning up. up yeah, I was turning up. I was yeah, turning up. I, turn I, up I, that shit's peach sake too. That shit was going out easy. It's like juice, so I was I was feeling nice. But um, so next project is uh, Epidemic by Money Man. He actually dropped two things this year. Um, we got the next one review dropping next week, most likely. But this is Epidemic yeah, by Money Man. The other 
It's yeah. it's it's very clean mumble rap. It's yeah, yeah it's tolerable. Yeah, that's what uh, I it's think. Although I Bruce, not, not to spoil what though. my review was, but yeah, it was tolerable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, is the, it more the same though? <laughs> it's more more the same. It's just this one long beat extended. It yeah. probably is. This is like very. It's 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 it literally to me is the same flow, same content, same transition, same beat, the whole project. But it's clear, like even though it's, I guess you can categorize it as mumble rap. I kind of could hear him, and it was clean. The quality was good, and it wasn't the yeah. worst shit I've ever heard. There's effort here. Yeah, I would never listen to this again. Oh, but I wouldn't show. No, I mean, yeah, right. If yeah. somebody was like, right. I like this. I'd be like, all right. Okay. That's you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't even argue it. Some stuff, if somebody (laughs) likes it, I'd be like, no. If somebody was like, if the project before this one, if somebody was like, this is my favorite album, I'd be like, I bet you used to play the game where you see who could hold their breath the longest. And you (laughs) won. Oh, facts. (laughs) Or who can eat the most (laughs) chips that fell off the wall. Exactly. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Who can run into the wall head first the best? I'm eating the wall popcorn. (laughs) Actually, speaking of one of the projects we did, I actually had someone come and tell me that. And when we get to it, you're going to be like, what the fuck? They were like, this is the best project of the year, blah, blah, blah. But anyways. But yeah, this project is weak. The one thing I did do give props about this project, and I guess that's what probably gave it the better score, like the score that I gave it, every song was short. Mm. It was yeah, like two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Yeah, it I didn't get like not sick so of it. brutal. Yeah, it helps. So I wasn't mad at that. So, oh, actually, shit, we right, we already there. Damn, that was quick. How many did we review already? Damn, I I, I dropped this review. I dropped this review early. So this was actually a double album. That's why there's so many posts of this. That's why I dropped uh, essentially two. So this is um Lil Uzi Vert. This is the first half of it. This is Love right. versus the World Two. This is like a follow-up to one of his tapes. This came out with uh, Eternal, a take. But this one is the one where my one of my homeboys was like, nah, this is album of the year. And he's oh, like, Jesus. but yeah, let me tell you why. Christ. He said because the bars are there and the beats are there. And he said that I, I don't think anybody sounds like this right now. That doesn't make it good. But what's crazy is everything he said was false. There is no bars. Right. No. Nope. Everyone sounds like this, and there's he, people that sound better. He's like one of the people that's responsible for this bullshit wave we're going for sure right now. For sure, like he was one of the first ones. Yeah, where I was sure. like, this is what's allowed. Like when I saw him, what was he on a Sprite commercial with LeBron James, and you just see him like doing a singing auto tune bullshit. This is the weird. Yeah, was, that was Bert, right? Yeah. yeah, this is the this that is the thinking, weird yeah, was, weird fucking side of like. Of like this fucking genre, bro. It's like the it's like the bratty, <laughs> snot nosed rock version of mumble. Yeah, I don't, shit I don't know what it is about this shit. Is too that like the all the all the nineteen and eighteen year olds and like twenty year olds that I know try to convince me that this is good. They all need to OD. The dude who like, I was I talking can... to is my age, telling me this is album of the year. I'm like, what? Crazy. We grew up in the golden era, bro. Like, what are you talking about? Throw the whole generation away. Yo, facts. Even mine. If if people in my generation are talking like this, I'm like, all right, I guess we could take my generation too, bro. Because this this is trash. Like, even I don't care if this dude built the wave. Okay, he's one of the, f- the fucking pieces of this wave. So what? This shit sounds like the wave. T- still. The wave's yeah. been around a long time. This isn't better. This isn't breaking the mold. The, some of the beats were trash. Like, there was just a lot of garbage on here. Even, so, like, <laughs> Chief Keef singing on this. I was like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. And every feature did whack. And I'm like, oh, the 21 Savage. 21 Savage put out two trash verses in these last few reviews. And I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And I, I like 21. I've only heard one verse by him that I've liked. Oh, my God. Ever. I like I like 21. His album I liked a lot. I but um, I And I liked his Metro Boomin' album because it was aggressive. But, yeah, this shit. <laughs> even Thugga did trash on this. Like, And I'm a Thugga fan, and I usually fight for him. He did trash on this. Surprise. Thing. Yeah, yeah, facts. Cause you like Thug. You gave him a green check, man. Talk about it, man. I got the receipts. Barely. I got the receipts. Barely. All right? This guy. But um, yeah, this this project was whack. But for for the second piece of what was like the long awaited, this was whack. And then let's jump right into it. The next piece was Eternal A Take. I reviewed that too. Had two bonus tracks. This was whack too. This was whack. I think the other one was whacker than this, but this is still, this was a wash. This had less features. 
This is a lot of him. But the beats were whack. There was no cohesiveness. There was zero bars. This nigga's just rapping, rhyming words. Like, come on, bro. This is trash, bro. Yeah. I don't know why people gas him up so much. I don't know. I saw him live once because I, I was getting free shows on at the Paramount. And he just, like, came, performed, and left. Like, he really backing, was trying to do the rock star track, shit. Right. Yeah, all backing track. It was terrible. Yeah, of course. And but like what was crazy was like a bunch of little kids were all like high with, with their parents there too, mind you, just like dro- yeah. drooling to this. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? This shit is whack. And all the beats were inconsistent. There was there was like some stuff that was catchy, but some stuff that weren't. It's because there's a lot of repetitiveness. He's repeating a lot of shit, and some of it I had to admit did just get stuck in my head. And I was gonna like say, there's a couple reason. songs on here you could trick me into thinking you're good. <laughs> yeah, but not not enough. There was a lot of bad. It's boring, bro. There's nothing, no substance. <coughs> he don't talk about why he took so fucking long to put this out. There's no, there's like nothing. He's just literally all the flashy shit. I'm talking about me being rich and like the fake huffy puffy, like rock and roll, snot nosed brat type shit. It's corny, bro. It's mad corny. He's not here for it at all. I like one, I like like, like maybe like three songs on here that I was like, these are okay. But other than that, Oh my god, and please, everybody, please listen to track four. <laughs> he starts off track four going, yo, fuck it, this song's gonna be all bars. There is not one bar. <laughs> there is not one bar. Where? Yeah, where? I was like, what is this? I'm like, this didn't just happen. This shit is trash, bro. I was like, oh my god, throw this out. But yeah, all you people who hype this dude up for no reason or give this extra listens because he's a name, go kill yourself. And yo, my boy... Who I'm talking about. If you listen to this or not, you can kill yourself too. You my boy, but cut <laughs> it out. You're too old for this shit. Cut it out. This shit is not good. It's whack. The yeah, beats are whack. You're a producer. The beats are whack, bro. Cut it out. The people who think Uzi is the go to the same people out here looking toilets on TikTok. <laughs> and then catching the coronavirus <laughs> and asking people to <laughs> donate money to them because they're sick. But um so then the next project was uh, a bit of a letdown for me. It wasn't terrible, but it was it was a letdown regardless if you're a fan. Yeah, so, this shit is was, a fucking uh, limit. Three fifteen twenty by Childish Gambino. Trash. Oh damn, we got all, all we got three different things. Let's talk about why it's trash. Let's get into it, Bose. Listen, because just because it seems like he doesn't give a fuck anymore. Oh yeah, that's what I take from this these projects it's like he doesn't want to do music at all that's what i think of him this is i feel like he's a bitter actor that didn't he didn't work out with acting and now he's doing music because he has to mm. and he, he puts out this fucking trash because he's a name now he used to rap like he used to back rap. When I was that, shit. that yeah. shit was fire and he's What's never gonna do that again and that's he, why like, I he had a hard time breaking into the rap scene i was a fan of his a little before call the sack drop and I was like, yeah. bro, this dude, he was, he, you can hear it. If you listen to that stuff, he had a hard time breaking into rap. Like people weren't giving him the listens. He even dropped, um, camp dropped on the same day J. Cole's dropped. And I'll never forget that. Cause I, you know, I've always been a person who gets music right when it dropped and I bought both albums and I was like, yo, this camp is actually, I liked it more than when Cole dropped his first, you know, his debut album. And I was like, this is fire, but no one fucked with it. He was still doing opening stage. And he always had that bitter rapper shit. Like, he always, even on his tape, like, Royalty, he's just talking about how no one fucks mm-hmm. with him because he was, like, and... Royalty's gas, too. Gas. And he just, like, kept putting out music. And then he put out, like, arguably his best piece of work because the internet was phenomenal. Like, but yeah. it was a mix yes. of everything. That was his height. That yeah. was his peak to me. That was him and making I, I think it's rap all downhill. and being how he wants to be. Like, I liked that project after it a lot. For what it was, I wouldn't call that a hip hop project, but I love that project. No, like Redbone, Redbone is a classic. <laughs> oh yeah, like, great. Along with a couple other things on there, but yeah, like yeah, he did it right the first time, and I just thought it was exactly. him trying something different. Yeah, but now it, I know like what he's going for, and yeah. I just yeah, I hate yeah, it. and then he he t- he put out the the um the the Kawaii and uh the, the the those two projects, and it was like okay, yeah, this is nice. I see what he's doing, and that's when Jaden was actually rap rapping. And he was, mm-hmm. you know, doing all this stuff. But then it's like something clicked where he's just like, I don't want to rap anymore. And yeah, he just don't. And I thought this project is supposed to be the last childish Gambino project. Correct. And uh, then yeah. I, I think everything after is supposed to be Donald. Glover. I thought that meant we were going to get rap. It, yeah. And, yeah and, it, and honestly, what sucks is it's not as it's nowhere near as good as the project before this. 
So and nobody wanted as it. Far, yeah, as far as experimenting, right. it's not good compared to the last project. And it just wasn't what, like, I guess, oh, we don't care what the people want. But it just doesn't sound good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of it's good. Like, I enjoyed some of the songs where they got smooth. They got smooth. But there some was of a it lot, was funky. But... There was a lot of annoying songs on here that were, like, wastes of tracks. And there's, like, three songs where he wasn't even saying shit at yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's thievery. Yeah, and it started like, off like you fans, can see how I was listening to it. It started off terrible. Anybody like, can a make a story. fucking instrumental. Yeah, and it's like I used to respect him because I'm like he could produce, you know, like back before. Yeah, no, a thing. he's a talented ass dude. That's the thing, yeah. and that's why I kind of got pissed off when you were like, "How can you like circles? And you, <laughs> you don't like this?" Because for one, two, two reasons. For one, Mac that was like the best he could do in that bag because he's not a good he wasn't a good singer so that yeah, was like nope. the best childish could, could do have, way better in that bag. Child, childish could fucking put out one of the best jazz projects ever probably yeah. and he just won't yeah because exactly. he doesn't give a fuck oh. yeah i yeah, i knew that was gonna get to you i was gonna... <laughs> no but, but this, to me this, this is lazy worse than me. yeah this is like like i i'm not a fan like you know the mac miller stuff the experimental stuff is cool but i like when mac rap so i will always give people a hard time about that Same thing i, with I feel that same thing with Tyler. Like I, Tyler's project, I was not a big fan of because I want Tyler to fucking rap. I want to hear. I was barely a three fan songs of pregnant rapping. nuns. And, yeah, I was barely a fan of Tyler rapping, and then he saw that Tyler's weird not shit, not a, and I was I, out. I liked his raps. Yeah. There was a I point was where out. I was like, I'm here for it. Yeah, he's not a good rapper to me, but like the shit he says is wild. See, and that's, that's the thing. He sense. Tyler had a point where he was nice, and he was like, yeah. where he was cooking legends on their tracks. Like if you listen to. Way back when um Game dropped uh the album before Red, listen to Tyler's verse on Game's track. Tyler was I know what you're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Shit yeah. like that. But um yeah, and then like but like when rappers do that weird shit, it's like okay, you do it once or something like that, that's cool. But it's like why why are these people so aggressively trying to get out of rap? But also what's this well, I whole think weird movement? Like I, I think with Tyler it's just he he's out of his bag now with that, that shit because he doesn't have his squad anymore. Like, I feel mm-hmm. like he rapped because all his boys rapped. Like, Earl was his boy. He had Haji Beats, Damo Genesis. All those cats were nice. Mm-hmm. And so that's why he stayed with it. Now that he doesn't, like, make music with them anymore, he's just doing what he wants to do. Yeah. So, okay, fair it's probably enough. the same Gambino. I don't know. But I don't know. I just hated it. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I, I was, it was cool, but I wasn't like... And the cover was just white. The cover yeah, was white. It's like he didn't... Give a fuck on that's any that level. That's that fake artsy shit. shit. That's that like Didn't lazy. Name your song. That's that fake artsy shit. Because this project yeah, I number, actually listened the to. Songs annoying too. I like got like a like a lazy listen to it before it dropped. Dropped because it was on it was streaming on his website on like a loop, and I was like I don't know what this is. But then when this came out, I was like let me sit and listen to this project. And when I did the review, I was like oh what the fuck? This is all we got. Like this is the same shit that was on the website. So yeah. I was a little upset about it, but hey man, if you, people I want I want people to talk to us about it. I want to know what people think. So, next project was um, Introspective EP by Chris Avery. I, I like, like this. this. Project. I already, knew, I, like I already, knew, I already knew he did. I like. I don't. I don't know if I liked it enough to make it a check, but there was definitely a couple songs that it wasn't I fucked bad. With on that. Mm. Which ones? Because I just I played it at work while I was working the line and shit, so I didn't take the time to learn names. Mm. But uh, a couple of them are real wavy to me. It wasn't enough. And I'd put in rotation there's couple, though. There's a couple waves on there, even yeah. from my review. Yeah, yeah, it's probably the same one. As in. The first song I thought was better than an okay though. No, that first song wasn't. See, I was um, I, I guess I listened to this in the wrong space because I was just like, I I was just not interested. I was just like, oh, yeah, okay. it was, just, it was, was okay like, to me. Yeah, I was like, okay, next song. Uh, okay, yeah. next song. Like, I think it's exactly. maybe because I listened to it. Right now. I think I listened to it right after that Vert project. That's how I was like, okay. This oh, is yeah. Any, anything <laughs> would have sounded good after that Vert project, bro. Right. I'm yeah. telling you. But this was, I mean, I, I was just like, whatever, a little lackluster. I think it got the rating it deserved. I was just like, nothing caught my attention. You know what I'm saying? Nothing like had me like, oh, let me run it back or any right. shit like that. So. Yep. The chick on it was nice. I yeah. Think, that he had on yeah. the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, 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 you know, there's it has moments. There. It has moments. It something has moments. there. There's something there. He could yeah. do something. Yeah, it has yeah. moments. If he's gonna build on that sure. Yeah. So it was super cool. long though, too, for only being six. For only yeah. a few yeah. songs, it's yeah. Drag. For only a few songs, it was it's mad long. Drag. <laughs> yeah. I think each song was like three or four minutes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was long as fuck. I think that's what probably got to me too. I that probably. I bet if they were like four minute songs, he would have got a better review. Maybe sometimes. Hey, sometimes yeah. that length will do it, bro. 
It's just, sometimes you just need a little bit. Yeah. So just a dab. This next project, the Lyricist Manifesto by Mike Titan. Fire, bro. That opening Fire. track. Fire, bro. Uh, it's... That's a, yo, <laughs> that's how you set a standard, thing. though. Like, if you open up with a track like that, I'm all ears. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to listen to whatever's next. The whole time. Yep. I wish there was one more of those, though. Yo. One more. And this might have been like... <laughs> it, 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 he might have squeezed the diamond out of me if he had followed it up with an even... like. Just oh, yeah. Bar me to death so... at the end. Funny little. Um... You know what's a crime? Uh, Go ahead. Uh, I no. said it's a crime that man only has like 500 followers too. I like, know. This is the shit that's getting ignored. This is the shit that's getting ignored and swept under the and, rug. And what's crazy like, is the production. I, I, everything worked like this. And his last project was yeah. fire. His last project, I think I gave, I gave an eight too. Like this dude is nice. Yeah, and I think I had done one before that. Too, and his maybe. name is Cold Mike Titan. Mike Titan. Cold. Yes. This shit, I was like, yo, this project's wild. So, funny little thing. Um, so, you cooked his homeboy on uh, that Twain. Uh, the twa- yeah, One, you bro. spelled his name wrong, and he took it to heart. So, he messaged us. He was like, yo, you cooked us. And he, you could tell it hurt because he started flexing in the DMs. One, he was like, oh, my name's spelled wrong. Oh, you know what? But I'm co-signed by this, and I'm this, this, this. Started dropping all this stuff, and I was just sending, like, thumbs up. I'm like, cool, bro. Like, you still, <laughs> you still got That's shit in on it. <laughs> people be hurt this is one verse, bro. This you one know verse. someone's this hurt one. when they hit our dms not even in the comment section like bro, where you go tell to the me DMs. I'm wrong. tell me i'm wrong oh He's you nailed like it he, he was like out of breath yeah you nailed breath it start <laughs> he was butter he was very hurt about it had to tell me all of his cosigns and shit like that it's like okay bro we get it your feelings yeah okay your Great. feelings I, this are is the hurt, only bro. verse i've ever heard from you i'm not judging your career <laughs> off of this one verse i'm judging yeah. this verse he's like yeah my next project's coming out i got co-signed by this dude i'm gonna be on the radio i'm like okay <laughs> it's like well you know mm-hmm. what we're gonna be nobodies who still dish out cha- checks and red stamps and we don't you're care still gonna be hurt. <laughs> yeah your verse is still gonna be asked to us because it is asked to us you did sound but this like- project is yeah project is gas this, if he would have took that song off he probably could have got he probably could have got like a eight. feature yeah just the second verse yeah this project i felt it i was like this is a good time i'm having a good time and it felt good this is like this is raps this is good yes. raps this is good good right. raps beats everything worked need more heat like that so this next project was uh wild west by joey trap i don't like back to smoking dust He's back. Yeah, I was dusting. like, I don't know he about that. Eight. This an eight? He gave it an eight. Yeah. Well, let's put yeah, this into perspective. Eight, isn't it? Yeah. I gave Mike Titan an eight point five. Yeah. So Tricky. this, so <laughs> this was almost no as good. Fucking new. Like, nowhere. <laughs> fucking new. <laughs> this is a solid this four. <laughs> this is a solid yeah, exactly. four yeah. max. You, you might be able to twist <laughs> arm into giving this a four point five. I immediately knew I wasn't gonna like this when I saw he wrote, "It's a fat mood." I was like, okay. Eat that. All right. All right. Eat that. All right. He gets way too before he does these. The reviews, first, this is the most like misleading with obviously freestyled <laughs> tracks. How is that good if you know a nigga's freestyling? Nah. nah. The first nah. night you man's meet up is just going to be us curb stomping Drake. <laughs> It's like the last one. Oh yeah. Oh, you talking about like, for real? <laughs> yeah, in real life, just yeah. gonna hit him with a whole like a whole <laughs> fillet of fish. Just slap him <laughs> with a. <laughs> Pardon. <Yeah. laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my god! Look, look, like oh my god! Did you guys read this review? The, this eight pieces of fat. It's mood. another one. Hey, wait, wait, wait! wait. You got to read it in JP's voice. <laughs> this eight pieces of fat mood. <laughs> With obviously freestyle tracks with the main topics consisting of wanting head and expensive cars. Oh my god. That's a sentence I never want to re- read on a review. The beats that don't change up for... There's beats that don't change up for two minutes. But this man can make a bop in the time given. Minus the blip with Mikey. This Wild West story is in rotation. Woo! <laughs> It's rough. This is yeah. This isn't it, people. This Holy I'm shit. gonna apologize on behalf of the page. This review is a lie. It's not oh, good. Man. You see Each somebody individual... talk bad shit about him? Too? They're like, he's a bitch. He he turned his back on all his day ones. Yeah, K so, such. Like, yeah, K such. I don't, I don't know who that is, but I was like, oh shit. Okay. We've reviewed oh, okay. K such. He. This is why. Is he nice? I don't, Listen, rem- man. I don't remember what he got from us. I feel like it wasn't. 
Listen, man, we're gonna uh, make something officially clear for the night for the night man. Anybody that listens to this, <laughs> each reviewer only represents their own opinion, not facts. the page as a whole. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I love, dude. Remember when we did? Um, we reviewed a. That's Terminal- why we put our names on them. Yeah, facts. So you can yell at us, not the page. <laughs> exactly. When Go we did, him. um, we did a terminology project, and my homegirl from like Boston was like, "Yo, that nigga's a snitch," and t- like aired him out, talking about he's a rat and like he snitched That's on people hilarious. and all. I was like, "Damn, yo, people be deep up in this fan shit." But this dude did not like K Sut. This dude K Sut did not like him. Dude got a World Star video and took that as a sign to change his personality. Switched it up on all his day ones. So this dude was a fan. So he's hurt. But anyways, next project. Wow. Yeah, it's a wild one. Next project was uh, Blooming Volume One by Cody Shane. So um, this one's a little bit of a strange one, but it, it picks up after the first track. Like it gets. It's it's a vibey project. It's it's nothing crazy. <laughs> I. It, it, it I edged got the check for me because like, two of the songs I still trippy? bump. Yo, yeah, when the trippy thing fucked time. me up. Like, oh, he, he's actually on it. I was like, oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what to. I was like, what is happening? And I was like, oh, okay. But um, this project, it, it edged the six for me because two of the songs, that uh, timing song and the blooming song, I was like bumping, like for a few days later, like bumping, like, oh, I'm brushing my teeth to this. I'm like, this is it. I'm not bad at that. Yeah, you know, like vibe songs. And I'm like, this could have okay. been so much better. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. bad. I hate first, the somebody, track. That first if somebody track. put this on while I was working, I wouldn't yell at him. Yeah, turn the shit off. But um, yeah. I did that. Did that vibing. I took over the speaker. Yeah, it feels good to just hijack. I was like, yo, let me get the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this project, it's all right. It's a nice little piece. I mean, it's nice. She's out here singing. She's vibing. But this next project, Frank, we got to talk, man. This next project was Scuba Sada 2 by Sada Baby. Trash. I love Bro, I, this. Okay. <laughs> Dude, explain, I think I might be with Frank. To me. On this change one. my mind. Change my I think mind. I might be on Frank. I might be on Frank's side with this bro. One, bro. You know what? It's not good. Honestly, <laughs> the first two tracks, I was like, "This is whack." And then when the third <laughs> track hit, I was like, "I don't know what it was, but I caught mad punchlines." And I was like, "Oh, he's punching." And then for the rest I of the project, like been I was long, catching been inside, so. Much. I've been inside for a minute. I don't know, man. He was punching. <laughs> the lights out of these tracks some of these I tracks tried were to a li- little weird listen, for you i tried to listen i'm like i'm not here <laughs> he like, was pu- yo he had bars bro like he was punching <laughs> every line bro and i was like i am so here for this this is like criminal music like this dude needs to be locked up <laughs> i have to give it another listen but i'm i'll, dude, I'll give it one yo, more but for me like i, I wasn't here i am a fan like, of penmanship <laughs> he's punching his voice is weird his voice is weird, and some of the beats are crazy, but I'm, I promise you, he is punching like crazy, bro. <laughs> He's punching so aggressively, and I was like, I'm not mad. I already got, I already got accent racism, so <laughs> Yo, maybe that's what it is. Just like, uh, he sounds crazy. Voice. He does. He sounds like a cartoon character. I said he sounded like an animaniac from the hood. He sounded w- crazy, but he <laughs> he was rapping, bro. I, I can't that deny it me on to the project <laughs> even saying that like, i'm just nah. he sounds crazy yeah. but he was snapping bro listen to <laughs> listen to that uh say whoop song the song is very weird but he is punching bro i'm t- i promise you he's punching but uh i like this project i probably now i bumped it more after because i was like am i bugging after i wrote this and i would probably give it like a oh, seven my- now <laughs> <laughs> Done. there's some bad songs on here don't get me wrong but there's some songs <laughs> that i was like i am not mad at this like i could play Sam how does Andreas someone get a seven when they had a trash can or no a dumpster truck you yo the first the first, the first yo but seriously the first song is so bad but even the the punchlines are hilarious but he's still punching bro i'm telling you he's punching <laughs> like i don't know back. bro <laughs> we'll I'm, te- see. I'm telling i promise you he's punching bro i promise you uh, i'll listen to him <laughs> and yeah, then, um, same. i'll get back to you but i don't know so then <laughs> i'm telling you so then the next project is honestly it's probably on my projects of the year list because uh, i, I can't stop it. listening to it this is rude boy by cj fly and um static selecta so weird little side story about this <clears throat> before this project was done static all the this the whole project was sampled had like record samples all of them got pulled so this project Uh, pretty much static had like the verses and everything and had to redo this whole project so they he apparently didn't get it cleared on all the samples so he sampled live instruments for this whole project and it is gas 
It works. <laughs> I love it. It, it, it was nice. A, yo, it works. and CJ Fly is rapping, bro. The, the the only knock I would put on it is that he sounds exactly like Joey Badass. To me. He's part of the team. Like, I mean, yo, he's probably like, if you told me it was Joey Badass, I believed you. But yeah. like, no, it was nice. If you, yeah, if you listen, if you listen to any, like, if you listen to anyone from Pro Era, though, they all have similar. You know what I'm saying? They all sound the same. So like, how yeah. do you like that with your label, though? Like, how do you? Why do you want everyone to sound the same on the label? Well, when that's, they when they started as me. like a crew, they all just sound. That's how they rapped. But no, I get it. I yeah. get it. I like because it's like not like it was like because like, before they were a label, pocket. before they were labeled, they were just like a small team. They all just sounded like like they all. It was like you know, look at Odd Future. A lot of them have similarities. They all bounced off each other. And yeah, shit too. yeah, yeah. Like, I can see that they they all had similarities, just minor differences. Like Tyler was like yeah. very in the middle. Then you had like Earl Sweatshirt was just like a punch heavy Tyler. Then like Haji, you know what I'm saying? And Domo was like, R.I.P. Earl Sweatshirt. Yo, fags. But um, <laughs> this project was wild, and uh, the the Joey Badass features fire. I Haley Supreme, yo, hit maker. You you throw that name on a track, and you're getting a bop. Ocean, those two girls, my favorite female rappers in the last like two years. Out here cooking. Fucking Kirk Knight yeah, did his thing. Nice. Conway. Golly. Conway is He's out here best killing song. features, bro. That was the best song. He's just giving me the crazy. Yo, that song is fucking. Fu- I listened to that song. Like, when I. The first I'm listen, I was like, I'm going to run this. Guy. Yeah, fire. And this. I'm fucking up a good playlist for this year. I, I hope y'all like it. I'm going to send it to you guys at the end of the year. There you go. I like oh, that. Sweet. I Dude, do like yeah. um, at the end of this project, they had the whole Pro Era song, which was nice to end it off with, which I was really into. Had everybody on there, Chuck Strange, and, like Nick Danger, all of them and shit. But I really love this project from the production down to all the raps. I was here for every bit of it. The hooks, the features, all solid. Yo, Static Selector, honestly, like what are we doing? Is he is he on our top fives as producers? He's, Bro, he hasn't he's let me down. Ridiculous. He hasn't let me down ever. He has he's two been, other he's been projects. stuff out too for the last yeah. few years. I just did, um, he just, uh, I'm probably dropping this week. I just did a review for, um, he did another terminology project about this pandemic. So, you know, they did it in like a week and it's fire. And then, um, he did another project with some dude I've never heard of a uh, UFO, like Fev or some shit like that. And I was like, bro, you can put anyone on these shits and it's going to be a seven or more. That's how, that's how dangerous static is. That's my goal in rap. My one of my rap goals to get something from static. Just hear me, Static. Hey, hey. Put it out in the universe. Yeah, Static Select, mm-hmm. hear me. John D. Contradiction, hear me. But um, yeah, this project was gas, bro. I had a good fucking time. I'm still bumping it. It is good. It makes me want to dribble a basketball just in my living room, just in front of the mirror. You know? Yo, they, took, they took the hoops off of our neighborhood part. Damn, they really like, don't want y'all. <laughs> hey, put, I actually got to check mine. I don't bask, know if they took them put off some mine milk bat, milk, bask, milk crates up there. Facts, old school. Yeah. All right, yeah. Oh. Fight the power. <laughs> Facts. Damn, that's some forcing social distancing. Like, goddamn. Yeah. Like, we outside, bro. This disease gonna get yeah, carried by the wind. They don't want you sweating and <laughs> pressing up against each other. Yo, hazmat. <laughs> yeah, no, playing sports probably ain't the move right now. No, definitely not. But um, that's all we got, man. That's all the reviews for the week. Felt like a lot, but I guess you know, I'm just talking extra because we had a lot of shit to say about the famous people. Cause fuck them. Right. Listen to that <laughs> side of baby. <laughs> When are you going to drop the joiner one? Monday? Tomorrow? Uh, You put it in the drafts and shit, so I'm probably going to drop it tomorrow. Yeah. Yo, I was I, like I, rushing to get it done because I thought you wanted it done. Hey, uh, yeah. No, no, no. I haven't done a Friday drop like, I'm in doing... a minute. More uh, inside baseball. What's going on with the fucking app? App? I couldn't get this shit to draft. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. know what's going on. Yo, what happened with me was that I, I don't know if you guys saw Oh, yeah, video, you had that weird error. I yeah, what's that? A dot about? lotto. You wasn't letting me send to anyone. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I tried to type it in, and it's nothing. It's not even a link to anything. <laughs> That's weird. So I don't get how it's violated. You broke some standards. like Illuminati code, like Zuckerberg's right. password. Yeah, yeah. Zuckerberg is his password. I'm, they're probably watching me right now. Facts. Like, yeah, I don't know. Knows. I don't know what's going on with Walkos. He said he can't draft shit, so I don't know. I, I do everything on the computer, so I've never had those issues. So I don't know. But um, actually, I, was, I, I was doing all my memos and email to myself, or put them through one of my messengers. Mm. Yeah, it only gives me schedule no, schedule for later or publish now. Oh, that's whack. That's an- that happened I'll to me. Just, once. I'll have to send it to you. Yeah, send, yeah, send it to me in the in like a message. Yeah, if you guys can't post something, just send it to me a message and I can get it out there. But um, other than that, yeah, I think that's it, man. We're solid. 